Mid Journey 5.1 is now live and is an upgrade from Mid Journey version 5. This video will go in depth of this new model and update you with all the new information about it. Make sure you stick all the way to the end though as I will show you some special features later in this video. Mid Journey 5.1 is now the default model and is way more opinionated than version 5. It creates better images with shorter prompts, allowing you to be lazy with your prompts again, which is similar to version 4. Whereas at version 5, you had to be more exact and descriptive with your prompt. There's also a new raw mode with version 5.1, which is similar to version 5 where it is less opinionated and requires more details. Now, to use Midjourney 5.1, just type slash settings. And if it is not already selected, then go ahead and select it here. If you look right next to 5.1 is raw mode. You can also add it into the prompt with dash dash style raw. So what is the difference between version 5 and 5.1? Well, to start out, 5.1 has a higher coherence, which means that it will perform better by generating images that are closer to what you're looking for. It also has a higher accuracy to text prompts better than all of the other versions. There's also less unwanted borders and text artifacts. Another thing is the images are now sharper, less grainy, and less blurry. 5.1 also brings back poetry prompts, which was abandoned in version 5. I will talk more about poetry prompts later in the video. So I'm going to show you a few quick examples comparing all of the latest versions using the same prompts. I started with version 4, with the prompt, Pandas Ruling the World. And it produced a few images that are pretty cool looking, especially the first one. Although, some of the images wasn't exactly what I was looking for. When I put the prompt in version 5, I got very different results compared to version 4. The grid produced more vector styled images, and also more random images. And this is due to the prompt being very broad, as version 5 requires you to be very specific on the prompts. Otherwise, your image turns out way differently than what you would expect. And then, at 5.1, the images are completely different to the last two versions. The image looks more artistic, and looks like it has more meaning to it. It also signifies the prompt a lot better compared to the other versions. This is due to it being more opinionated. In 5.1 raw mode, the images are similar looking to version 5, as it has more of a logo and vector look to it. Although I really like the second and fourth images. Here's another example. I tried another shorter prompt, a robotic dog. This one is in version four, and as you can see, the images look a bit more blurrier and not very clear. There's also a few little errors across all of the pictures. When I took the prompt to version five, the images were much more clear and more detail in the background compared to version four. In version 5.1, the grid or images was directly related to the prompt, as it was 100% robotic, compared to the other versions where it was part dog and part robot. In raw mode, it is similar to 5.1, but it looks more like a toy, and the bottom left image has a real face of a dog. Version 5.1 does a very good job of landscape photos. Amazing golden sunset over the new civilizations. I added stylized and quality, and just look at these images. Look at the one at the bottom left. Just amazing. As for this image, I used a very short prompt, but added chaos and quality to the prompt, and it made the image just look that much better. An Earth-like landscape on an alien world. I mean, just look at these pictures. They just look absolutely amazing. The one on the bottom right is probably my favorite, as it looks very similar to Mars. When I add quality to the image, the results vary a lot more and adds more details that are less related to the prompt, but it still keeps the main idea. Futuristic Jungle, a very short prompt, but it created some very unique and good looking photos. When I take this prompt to version 5 though, the results are kind of similar, but it isn't as detailed in the pictures and is more of a close up shot, which wasn't exactly what I wanted. Version 5.1 did a much better job with executing this prompt. Take a look at some of these images. 5.1 is way more opinionated and is a good upgrade from version 5. 
Mid Journey has done a very good job with making accurate human faces in all of the past versions, but we haven't seen what it looks like in 5.1. So I chose the prompt, a portrait photo of a man. In version 4, the pictures did look good, but you can just tell that the quality is lacking and needs a bit more detail. When we switch to version 5, the pictures look much more realistic and is a major upgrade from what version 4 had made. In version 5.1, pictures look much different. Not only does it look extremely realistic, but it also has more interesting backgrounds instead of the plain backgrounds from the other versions. And it even added a sense of emotion into the first picture. At 5.1 raw mode, we start to see more stock looking photos. And what is also strange is all of the images have pictures of elder men, unlike the variety of ages that the other versions had created. I tried another prompt a woman walking through a city. When I put it into version 4, the images I got were a bit strange. It also had quite a few errors. All the images were all different looking as well. In version 5, I got some very good results. They looked very realistic besides the bottom right. But overall, the quality looked very good and looks like real life. In 5.1, the results were very artistic and unique. They are all completely different, but 5.1 is a more opinionated model like version 4. So think of 5.1 as a mix of version 5 and version 4, but better. If I change the prompt a little to a woman walking through a city, ultra HD, I start to get much more detailed images, while also keeping the artistic feel of version 5.1. In raw mode, the images start looking like Instagram photos. It looks as if there's a photographer that planned this shot while regular 5.1 captures a moment and holds a more of a message. Ramo does a very good job with stock photography and even product photos. Raw mode, I chose the prompt a product image of a bag of chips, and it did just that, and it looks very very good at raw mode. But when we take it into 5.1, the images are more colorful. There's also lots of errors, and it's not very accurate to the prompt. So here's another one product image of a cool t-shirt design. 5.1 raw mode did a very good job of coming up with some cool product image t-shirt designs, but when we take it into 5.1, the results vary a lot more. The designs are less simple and have much more depth and randomness. It kind of looks like the t-shirt has 3D designs. Steak being cooked on a grill. Close up shot 8K Ultra HD. In raw mode, the images look great. It's fairly simple and straight to the point, but when we put it into 5.1, the image looks a lot more playful. There's more going on and the stick looks like it would even taste better compared to raw mode. A product image of a modern water bottle. In raw mode, the bottle looks very good. Represents the prompt pretty well. Only problem could be that there's water inside the bottle. But when we put it to 5.1, the results are more random and even more detailed. It has designs and movement in the photos, which isn't always what you want in product images. Raw mode is very unique and is a little hard to use, but using it for stock photography or product images is a very good use case for it. Poetry prompts. Version 5.1 also brings back poetry prompts, which basically means that there's a message behind the prompt and the picture holds a deeper meaning. This was removed in version 5. So to start out, I chose the prompt, love and war. In version 5, the image didn't quite follow the prompt at all, it was kind of just bland. But when we take it into version 5.1, the theme of the images shift, and resembles the prompt accordingly. The beginning of an end. In version 5, it decided to create poster styled images with text, because it didn't pick up the theme of the prompt. Although at version 5.1, the results are much better and actually look really cool. When I put it in raw mode, I got a bunch of varied results. But again, the prompt is very broad, so you probably won't get the exact image you want unless you are more specific and detailed. Road to Happiness In version 5, again, it was very broad and kind of looked dull or sad. But when we take it into version 5.1, the mood changes to a lot happier. Poetry prompts are a very cool addition and can make some really awesome images. If you like poetry prompts in version 4, and you're going to have to try it out in version 5.1.
If you've made it this far, I'm going to show you some really cool keywords that work very well in version 5.1, and this works for almost all types of images. The first one is going to be Fortnite loading screen. I mean, just look at how great some of these photos look. I would also recommend using a little bit of chaos in your prompt, as it may bring some more detailed images. Using this keyword can make some really cool images that just have a very unique and cool style to them. Just check out these cities. Look at these cabin photos as well. And the cabin on the bottom left might just be my favorite. Another cool keyword you can use is Polaroid photo, which gives a cool vintage style photograph. The last one is plushy, which does exactly what you would think. This can make some pretty awesome looking plushies and it's just very fun to play around with. If you learned something new or found value in this video, then let me know in the comments and by subscribing to the channel. If you enjoyed the video, then you should check this video out too.